What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Coach Rob619 back with review. As you can see in the name, Rockaware Evolution. Let's get in the bottle design, box design. Let's get to the review. What's up, fellas? This is your boy Coach Rob here. Just want to show you the box design, the bottle design of Rockaware Evolution real quick. Here goes the front of the box, obviously. As you can see, it has a revolution font and the type in the front of the box. Um, at the very bottom here, it just has the 1.7 50 mil bottle. On the side, we see the font, the print follows the same. Black on the bottom. Behind the box, more tight, Rockwear Evolution. You see, you know, caution, flammable, you know, et cetera, et cetera, on the bottom. And on the side, I kept the plastic on so you guys, bam, could see the price. $14.99. You can't beat that price for this fragrance. Great fragrance back to the front of the box and there goes your box design all right here you go guys here goes the bottle design very simple bottle sleek black glass on the bottom you have a chrome finish on the top and it follows that design pretty much all the way around nothing changes here goes uh if I can get it off the sprayer simple sprayer and that's your bottle design okay so you see the box design you've seen the bottle design now before I get into the review I gotta give a shout out to my boy gentleman's corner he put me up on this back in the day um you know he told me hey Rob if you like you know boozy fragrances you gotta try this one and you know with the name with the Rockaware name you know like I said in my other Rockaware review I kinda wasn't expecting too much from it so um, I was shopping I went to Macy's and they had a, um, a bottle of it you know for sample and it was about, uh, I think the price was like about $75. So I smelled it, and I was like, man, this, this does smell good. It's, it's pretty nice, but I don't know if I want it for $75. So, you know, I just continued my shopping. I didn't look, look past it. So, you know, I was in one of my, you know, my spot, Ross and Marshall's. I was in Ross or Marshall's. Matter of fact, I got the box right here. I was in Ross. And um, I picked this up. For some reason, on my camera, it's not showing the price, but I picked this up. For fourteen ninety nine, and this is a one point seven bottle, fifty mil bottle. I picked up for one. I mean, for fourteen ninety nine. Now, for that price, this is an absolute steal. Um, so let me just jump right into what this smells like. So uh, before I get into that, guys, this one, this is a lady killer. I'm just gonna put it out there. Um, I don't have no proof of that, but based off my opinion, I think I got a good nose for lady killers this is definitely a lady killer if I was clubbing like I used to if I was still hitting the scene the club scene tough this would replace you know this would be my club scene this would replace the one million and all those that's being worn right now because I'm sure people a lot of people ain't wearing this one at least to my knowledge they're not so this would be my club scene definitely sexy it's definitely dark it projects good it's sweet it's everything you know that I think a lady would like. It's everything that I would want to you know, you know, reflect and smell like and give off if I were I was in a club, you know, talking to women. So um, anyway, let's jump right into the review. Now as you can see, my background, I'm in the setting. I got the club in the background. You know what I mean? This is perfect. But uh, to get into the review, this really blew me away. I got to be real. This this really blew me away. So I got to give a shout out to you, uh, you know, gentleman corner man. You. You hit it on the head with this one. This is definitely right up my alley. This is definitely something that, you know, is my style and I like. And with this one, it opens up to a straight rum, like, you know, a dark rum, you know, like a Bacardi rum, you know, like the, the, the gold, the brownish kind. You get a rum and you get that spiciness. You get that spicy rum in the opening. I have some on right now. I think I'm in the mid. I sprayed some like an hour ago. I'm in a mid, so in the opening for about the first 30 minutes to an hour, you're gonna get the spicy rum. Then from that, it switches into like a coffee, not an Amen coffee. This is to me, this is a more pleasant coffee. You get like almost like a uh, Kahlua. I think that's the alcoholic version, like that 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 uh, alcoholic uh, beverage, uh, like coffee drink. That's what I get in the mids. So you get the Bacardi rum, and that rum stays throughout the mid. And like I said, you get that for like the first hour. So the next two to three hours, you got a nice like coffee, Kahlua, rum, creamy, you know, dark fragrance. And then within like 
from your for like five to six, seven hours from the dry down, you're getting something, you're getting a tonka bean, you're getting a vanilla, you're getting a nice woodsy scent. And you kind of pick the woods up in the midst too. You know, with that coffee, you kind of get like a nice woody, you know, woody vibe mixed with that Kahlua. So it's like Kahlua in the woods in the mid, but in the dry down, you get that vanilla, the tonka bean, you get the real nice wood scents, man. This is this is a sexy fragrance, you know. I think this may be sex in a bottle. I don't know. I haven't tested it out. You know, I ain't in a club like I used to be. So I need you guys out there, you know, pick you up some of this Rockaway Evolution. It's 15 bucks at Raw's right now. Don't go to Macy's and Sephora's and pay $65, $75 for it. Try to find it in your, your local um, bargain bins. Pick it up. Try it. Give me the feedback. Let me know, you know, what kind of, you know, how this work in your neighborhood. Because I'm telling you, I'm thinking this is going to be the next. It's not going to be the next because it's not popular enough. It's not going to be the next one million. I know that. But this is a great, you know, night out club and fragrance. This is what you know, I will be wearing. But, um, yeah, like I said, you know, nice bottle. Opens up real boozy. So if you enjoy boozy fragrances, you're going to enjoy this. If you, if you enjoy coffee, you enjoy coffee notes, if you enjoy vanilla, you enjoy tonka bean, all that is mixed in here. Um, it has some other notes that you've seen in this video. I can't really pick those up. Some of you may be able to pick those up, but I think this just works well, man. This is a, definitely a slept on fragrance. And with the projection on this one, I would probably say it's obviously not a projection beast, but I would say from if you're using this for the club, it's perfect because if you're at the bar, the person next to you will smell it. Um, if you're on a date with this fragrance, you will definitely smell it across the table. But beyond that, um, I doubt that um, this will project loud enough. But it does have great silage. You know, you're gonna leave a pleasant trail when you walk past people. So another reason why I like it in the club. You're gonna be walking past people, and in the club, the club is crowded. So you're constantly, you know, squeezing through the club, trying to get your drink in your hand, trying to walk through. So people are gonna catch a whiff of you all night. You don't really need anything that's gonna project from here to the DJ booth. You know what I'm saying? As long as, as long as I'm conversating with a, with a woman or if I'm at the bar or if I'm squeezing through traffic or if I'm dancing with you and you can smell it, that's really all you need for um, you know, for a club scent in my opinion. I know a lot of people like to wear loud projecting across the room type of scents for the club, but you really don't need that. I mean, when you're perspiring, I think that's going to make it project a little bit. Like I said, you're, you're in close quarters with people, so you don't need nothing that's super loud. You don't need sun on in the club, you know what I mean, to get get noticed and, you know, get get compliments or whatever. So this is definitely good enough projection for the club. Uh, the silage is great. Longevity is decent, about six to eight hours. Um, but every part of this fragrance to me is great from the opening with the booze to the mid with the coffee to the dry down with the vanilla and woods. I think every part of it is pretty pleasant. I think a, a lady or, you know, guy or whatever, I think I think we, we all we all will enjoy this one. I mean, at least I do, you know. So that's my take on it, guys. That's my opinion. Depending on what the ladies say, determines what I spray. And if you guys purchase it, it's $14.99. So that's a lot of what my, my review is based on. For this price, it's great. Don't compare this with no $90 bottle, no niche bottle. But for $14.99, for what it does, what it what you know, what it what it gives you, it's great. But if you guys have it, if you're gonna pick it up, let me know if you wear it to the club, if the ladies give you a compliment. Let me know. I'm out. Peace.